it's Lee and I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Everything in this haul came from stores in York, Pennsylvania. This is going to be a no rhyme or reason haul. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of bags and showing you what I got. Just a reminder that if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you know every time I upload new videos. Also, after I show you everything I picked up, I will have pictures of items I saw uh, in the stores but didn't want or need, but thought you might like to see. So make sure you hang around and check those out. All right, so here's all the stuff I found. I did go to the Dollar Tree Plus section again. One of the stores had their Christmas stuff out, and I am not by any stretch of the imagination ready for Christmas. But this was really cute and I didn't want to leave it behind because I was afraid that, you know, it might not be there when I'm ready to think about Christmas. So I got this little sleigh with greenery and um, it says Merry Christmas on it. Will this fit back here? Kind of. Kind of fits. Then I picked up some of this. I've never seen this before. Martinelli's Sparkling Pear Cider. I love pears. I love um, alcoholic pear cider as well, <laughs> so I thought I would give these a try. I just love pears. If you've tried that, let me know what you think. Next, I picked up this four pack of Special K Strawberry Pastry Crisps. I thought my son might really like these as a snack. Um, he starts a new job this week, so... Maybe he can take these with him, longer shifts, you know. I don't know. I know he'll like them, so I just went ahead and got that. Then I found this Funfetti Oreo Cookie Pieces Brownie Mix. It looked delicious. I was hungry when I was in the store. Big mistake. Don't do that. But anyway, I did pick up one to try. So like I said, I was hungry, and I bought these Vanilla Moon Pies, and I did open it and try them, and yuck. I don't like them. I should have just gotten the chocolate ones that I know are yummy. I haven't had a moon pie in so long. I honestly couldn't tell you how long it's been, but that did not taste good. So hopefully my son will like them and he'll eat them. Next, I picked up one of these Perform X grape electrolyte water beverages. I got the strawberry kiwi before. I can't remember if I picked up the grape one or not, but this is also for my son. So I got just one of those. And then we really like the Minute Rice Yellow Rice in the little individual servings. So I picked up two more of these to keep on the shelf. They also came in basmati and jalapeno rice. Next, I found these gloves and they have grippies on them and they have the touch screen fingertips. So I picked up a blue one and a pink one. I, the pink ones are for me and the blue ones are for whoever might want them. I thought they were kind of cool because of the grippiness on them. Honestly, I could just leave them in the kitchen to help me open jars, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, I might. We'll see. So I did get one of each of those. And is it even a Lee's home haul if I didn't get socks? Probably not. Well, maybe, but not lately. I picked up these Hershey Kisses socks because they're just cute and we're not that far from Hershey. And I got Pez socks. Ever since my kids were very little, for Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, whatever, I always get them Pez. And I don't know if I did it last year, but I mean, I've been doing it forever and my youngest is 28. I don't know which one of them is going to get these socks, but I had to buy them because they're Pez. And then they had these crew socks that were just, that are just so soft. Now they're juncture, so I don't know if they're going to stay soft or how well they're going to fare in the washer and dryer, but they were just so soft. So I got a pair in pink. I got the mint green ones. got them in gray and I also got them in blue like I said they are just so soft that I had to have them 
Next they had a bunch of baseball hats. And this one is Xfinity. Let's see if you can see that. Xfinity headwear. And I thought this one said ladies. This one doesn't say. But it's really soft. I like it and I like the fact that it's a deconstructed hat. I don't like the ones that are stiff. So I got this. This is the one that says ladies baseball hat. And it's in denim. They did have like a white denim and a black denim, I believe. I think I took pictures, hopefully I did. Um, yeah, but this is the deconstructed style as well. Next, I got this Way To Skin Sika Essence Mask. It says relaxing skin calming. That sounds good. This is a Korean brand. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to try it out. I picked up one of those. Next, I got two more of these hooks. I bought them quite a while ago, and I don't know if you remember, but at some point I picked up these B hooks to put in my daughter's room. Honestly, they're not the most sturdy, um, so I did want to get something a little sturdier to put in there as well, it's just for her to hang her bags on. So I picked these up. I'll probably still put the other ones in there, and maybe she can hang the dog's leash on it or something. And it might be sturdy enough, I don't know, but I just got those to be safe. I picked up some parchment sheets. You get 10 sheets in there and it's nice for just covering a sheet pan quickly. And it's, you know, the right size for it. Next I found this book, The Headspace Guide to Meditation and Mind Mindfulness. I almost said mindlessness and mindfulness, how mindfulness can change your life in 10 minutes a day. Can't hurt to give it a try. Um, so yeah, we'll see. If I don't read it, my daughter will. <laughs> so I picked this up. It doesn't say what the original price is. I mean, it's covered. It says this is a cookbook. Next I found this sign that was really cute. And it says, kitchen open, roll on in and kitchen closed, beat it. Now, I'm probably gonna leave it set to this one, but we'll see. I just thought it was really cute. Will it sit on that? No. Next, I got these cute Halloween signs that I did not need, um, but look how cute that is. And it is a cat witch, and it says welcome. I think I'm gonna put these, can you see it there? So I think I'm gonna put these out in my planters closer to Halloween because if it rains, they're not gonna last very long. They're just made of that pressed board stuff. Anyway, so I got the skull in a top hat and I got a jack-o'-lantern with a bowler hat and a mustache and they all say welcome. And yeah, these are probably just gonna go out for trick or treat, trick or treat night. And then the other thing I picked up, and I'm not even sure why, is this flocked skull. Now, make sure you pay really close attention to them because this guy is missing some on the back of his head there, but it'll be all right. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with him, but they also had them in white, but I wanted the black one, so I got him. And then I picked up a bunch of lip products, like a ton. So the first one is Hershey Kisses Milk Chocolate Ho 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 with Ho Ho Oil and Shea Butter, and this is Flavored Lip Balm. That is so cute. I don't know what I'm, how I'm gonna put these all here. Then I got this one, which is Cherry Cordial, and it is also a flavored lip balm. Then I picked up these two Elf on a Shelf. This is Candy Cane Flavored Lip Balm and Marshmallow Flavored Lip Balm. These are so adorable. And then they had these so brutiful. This is caramel mocha flavored lip balm. Aren't these adorable? Great stocking stuffers. This one is hot chocolate flavored lip balm. Iced coffee flavored lip balm. Look how cute these are. And this one is shake it up cranberry bellini flavored lip balm. How cute are these? They're so cute, that's how cute. And then they had this Mandalorian strawberry flavored lip balm. 
That is adorable. Well, it doesn't say flavored. It just says strawberry lip balm. They had this one. It's green apple flavored lip balm and it comes with a lip balm holder. You just turn it over and put it in there. It is so cute. Look how adorable. They had a Pop-Tart version. Now, I don't know what flavor it is. Maybe it's Pop-Tart flavored. It just says flavored lip balm and keychain. Again, you put the lip balm in the Pop-Tart. They had Skittles. This is strawberry flavored lip balm. Let's see if it'll sit there. And the last one was Sour Patch Kids. And it is blue, ra blue raspberry flavored lip balm. And the lip balm's already in there. And look how adorable those are. So cute. And I had to get one of each. Um, where can I put you? Because they were so cute, right? Okay, so that's everything I picked up at several stores here in York, Pennsylvania. Now I'm going to show you the items I saw but didn't buy, but thought you might like to see. So check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching.